Microphone check, one, two, one, two. The problem is I won't get any feedback from this. Like I can hear my own voice and I did click on the mic button, but I still have to live with the crushing anxiety. I don't really speak English, so that's probably not the correct term. The fear of the unknown, whether the sound will work or not. Anyway, this is Banter Blitz with Jan Gustafsson. Challenge me to a game of five minute chess if you happen to be a chess24.com premium member. If you are not, go to chess24.com slash premium, enter the voucher code Janistan and you get a 15% off your purchase. And is that all there is? I think so. Today I will try not to talk as much nonsense as I usually do, but says, said, focus on this show's tagline, which is the show where we play interesting chess games. We worked a long time on that tagline. So let's try to play some. Thank you guys for stopping by and for hopefully partaking in some of the interesting chess games. Because to my mind, a game of chess is like a dialogue. I say goodbye and you say hello. Or the other way around. I hope you're the one saying goodbye. Um, let's play against Dino66. Probably means he was born in 1966 and therefore he considers himself a dinosaur in the chess world. Hmm. Are you there, Dino 66? Or did you go extinct while you were waiting for me to accept or decline your challenge? Come on, Dino. This is the show where we play interesting chess games. We can't have an interesting game if you're not even making one move. Therefore, I have to abort and apologize profoundly say maybe until next time or some other time. In the meantime, let us play and blame the mouse, which is what I do anyway. Always blame the mouse is in the house. I believe I talked about this last show that the early bird does catch the worm, but the second mouse gets the cheese. I'm currently trying to be both the early worm, because I'm getting up with my daughter, but she's been sick, so I've been staying at home in the morning taking care of her. And then the second mouse by being late in the office and playing some fantastic Banter Blitz games. And here we are playing the Trompowski. Not the Trompowski. Um, where after knight e4, bishop f4, this is one of the main lines, black typically goes d5 or c5. Instead, always blame the mouse. Play g5, which is very aggressive. Not considered to be that great, because if I go all the way back, black has weakened his or her position. And after h6, I can just occupy the center with f3 and e4. Therefore, g5, not a move I would have chosen. I have to admit that before I started the show, I was playing some Blitz games, trying to get my rating closer to 3000, because we need the everlasting, um, the red herring of Banter Blitz. Will I reach 3000 this show or not? The excitement. Anyway, now we have some weirdo Peartz slash King's Indian structure, where Black has gone G5H6, which should not be ideal. Um, I could have gone with, my apologies, c4, then knight c3, but against this weakening of the king's side, it feels like I should probably play some setup with bishop e3, queen d2, then at some point h4 or g4, followed by h4. There it felt more prudent not to open too many fronts, like playing c4, playing in the center as well. Hmm. Since I received no complaints, I'm gonna operate under the assumption that the sound is okay. And the internet connection is okay too. I switched to this, this LTE line, which I don't use so often, but apparently it seems to be working. Hmm. That's just a small, small update from Techyon. What else is going on? Hmm. Hypochondriac Jan, who is not 
not a strong presence. I don't like going to the doctor, so I wouldn't consider myself a hypochondriac. But I feel I'm getting sick, which is annoying. Um, and the German winter is starting. Winter is coming, and it's that's annoying too. I'm not much of a winter guy. So, yeah, the usual. A lot of stuff to complain about. The good news, though, is once I'm going to be sick, then I'll, all I have will be the wish to become healthy again. So I will forget all my other complaints. After e5, I am not complaining, but contemplating d takes e5, bishop b5, or knight e2, all of which look fairly reasonable. And in the end, I could not decide, and decided after 43 seconds, as I see here, for the move knight g2. That's too much time to spend on a move. Hmm. All right, so I'll continue with my my deep plan of doing something at some point. Mm. Generally speaking, as I like to do, black should be a bit worse here because this g5, yeah, there's not a lot of compensation for having weakened the king side like that. But of course, we've only just begun. What are we talking about? The chat bully someone into becoming premium? Boom. Mm, that is what we're all here for. Um, knight h5, what do I do? Castle? Looks logical once again. The good thing about not having committed to the g5 from the white point of view, I can play with g4, h4, but I can also just play some of like g3, playing it nice and slow. So, um, and now what do I do? The boring way would be to go for the end game play, knight d5, but it feels a little... Um, a little too little. So what else is there? Bishop b5 check. I should also start moving a little more quickly at some point, but not yet. Maybe this check. Weird move. No? Here, weird square. All moves look weird to me. Queen d2, this queen f4 doesn't help. Queen c4 looks strange as well. Can't decide. And if you can't decide, then any move as well make you might. It's one of the foundations of the German chess school, that rule. Mm. All right, maybe I should try to like anticipate what I'm going to do after c6, because I don't see any other good move. But ugh, it's so much work to think ahead. C6, queen, b4, maybe? King, e7. Who the f knows? Time for another lazy move, like king, b1. So I never ever have to worry about queen, f4, check again. <clears throat> b6, that's asking me to do something reckless, like bishop, b5. And since this is the show where we play interesting chess games, I'll go for it. CB knight d5 check and bishop b7 e5 looks unpleasant too. So, um, if in the center is your king, the game you cannot win. I'm not sure if this Yoda speech will um, improve the show all that much, to be perfectly frank with you. The point is queen e5, rook h1, and there's trouble. So I think there is trouble in general. Mm. Still trouble. Mm. Many ways lead to Rome. 
But when in Rome, centralize the cavalry. And always blame the Maus resigns. Too many enemy, queen e7, knight c7. Thank you for the game. Time to catch up with the chat. Chess to matters. Is this the new premium member? Welcome, chess to matters. <clears throat> Let's find a challenge by someone. I never have played before. If there is such a thing. Oh, an international chess master. A chess international master of chess, I believe is the full title. Um, Kleinhouts or K. Lanehouts. Sounds Dutch. Yep, Kuhn Lanehouts from the Netherlands or Le Peiba as the Greek like to say. Let's see if Kuhn could make it. Maybe he couldn't make it. Are you with us, Mr. Lanehouts? Five, four, three, two, one. Looks like he's not here. Sorry, Kleinhouts. Next time. <clears throat> See if there is someone that wants to play with us. What about Ernesto DPC? Ernesto's been around, but apparently I've never played him. Maybe I've tried and he was not with us either. Another thing that could be, I'm not sure, let me know, is that the site felt like it was behaving strangely today. At least earlier I lost some Blitz games because my clock felt like it wasn't moving. Or I'm guessing it's just my internet connection, but if we keep running into problems with guys not being able to accept the challenge, and let me know if something's off. Anyway, the Jacopiano. And then opening. I've spent way too much time with working on my stupid video series. And I never understand the subtleties. Like this is one of these things. Bishop g5. How do you react? You can go h6, g5. You can go h6, bishop h4. And then bishop e7. Or you can do bishop e7 immediately, breaking the pin. And there is pros and cons to all of these approaches. Which is why the Jacopiano is such a mess. It's very, very hard to put into it rules when one should do what. Generally, I believe that yeah, bishop to uh, h6 followed by bishop to e7 is often a sound reaction. But here, can I go knight h5 or does it run into knight takes e5? That is another topic one should think about. Knight e5, yeah, seems to work. No? So I'll do something else like king h8 and some dumb plan, knight h7, f5, maybe we'll find out. Mm. Oh, maybe I, I could have gone knight a5. Maybe. Maybe there was a moment in time where I could have grabbed this bishop with, with knight a5. But dumb plan it is. h3 looks too slow. I'm telling you right here, right now, Ernesto DPC, that does look too slow. You want to go f4, bishop h2, but it feels, I don't know what the correct word is, too slow. I could probably take the pawn f e ninety four bishop h three, or I could try to you know activate my pieces like it's weird, weird concept. I already regret it. That's a really bad move too because he can go f four. I honestly, I'll say forgot, which is the grandmaster term for missed. I honestly forgot that he can play f four. Sometimes you have these things like the knight on f three was blocking the f pawn, so. Very confusing that all of a sudden, once the knight is gone, the pawn can move again. It's not really that confusing. It's just a sign of being old and rusty, white and nerdy. But now I got what I wanted. He has to go bishop h2 and after f3. The king's side is crumbling. All kinds of dangers in the air. Bishop h3, followed by queen d7, just fg. It's not a fun position to play. And Kalnering explicitly asked for some fun chess today. So, sorry 
to be a bitter disappointment yet again. Okay, take no queen d7. It's of course not strictly necessary. Um, nah, it feels like it would be showing off, but not a lot of upside to it. I'm not very impressed with the way I'm conducting this attack. Oh, and also I missed f4 again. I'm going to keep missing f4. Even though this time around it was less scary because there's a bunch of pieces to be taken here. And a typical Gustafsson attack. I did not give a single check, but instead I managed to grab a piece on the other side of the board. Hmm. And as we all know, it's important to invite everybody to the party. So I should try to bring my queen over. Reading the chat. I agree with Fuxia, even though he lost the thread a bit, that Ernest Ernesto started playing excellently for a 1400. I was thinking, what is this? Am I being punked? But then he lost the thread a bit, mainly yeah, after after knight h7, this queen d2, f5, um, h3 business seemed a little slow. Not sure what he's supposed to do. It's usual knight d5, maybe. Anyway, good game by Ernesto. DPC, who has resigned while we were speaking. This guy has a picture of a fish. And I believe that people that like fish cannot be bad persons. I also believe that people that enjoy dolphins are bad people by definition. But Jaytona... Um, I don't know. It's not a tuna fish on your profile pic, right? So I'm not sure what the J Tona stands for. Maybe he's from Altona, the uh, district of Hamburg. And therefore, maybe he's J from Altona. And he thought it's funny to have a picture of a fish as his profile pic. Maybe so we can analyze fish. Uh, it's a three minute game too. Please, five minute games. People, I keep telling you this. You never listen. And I accept anyway. So why would you ever listen? Anyway, the Marshall Gambit, this stuff is very sharp. The last time I looked at it, it's in the late 1800s. So not a good situation. But when I did look at it, I thought it was dangerous for black. Mm -hmm. Knight a6, the main move. Some people go a5 here, some people go c5. It's all, it's all a big mess. I forgot what I'm supposed to do after a5, go here. Hmm. The problem is once, if, once you start forgetting stuff here, you can end up being 3-4 pawns down very, very quickly. But I do recall that this is dangerous. Dangerous. Where did I go? Here. Because this king finds very hard to get out of the danger zone. He's all alone in the danger zone, you could even say. Oh, but after knight f5, I was gonna go bishop a3, but then knight d4 maybe? f6 looks very slow to me. I guess I'll just develop something. Mm -hmm. I'm a pawn down, which of course is a frustrating status quo, but it feels like a lot of compensatie to me. King in the middle, or more or less in the middle. Very active pieces. The queen might lose some time trying to find her place in this world, which is a topic we all struggle with to some extent. And I'm probably gonna win on time. So, um, once you weigh all these factors, things could be worse. All right, shall I ever make some active move? Maybe knight h4 was good, but who knows these things?
Drama. Johnny Drama. Ähm, In case you were wondering, I did not calculate any of this, but probably you've seen this show before. You were not really wondering. Also, I'm not as winning on time as I used to be, which is more upsetting than this messy position. Because if you don't win on time, you have to win on the board. And who wants to do that? I'm pretty sure I could have played this better. I guess I'm still okay. But things have not gone according to plan, if there ever was a plan. Run, Forest! Um, hum, hum. Pin. Winning by pinning. Analyze fish. Now I like my chances. We're continuing the game? Come on, Jaytona. It always slightly hurts my feelings when people are trying to flag me when they are way down on the clock. And it's sort of it's offensive to my my flagger honor. Like, really? You think you'll flag me from here? It won't happen. There you go. <clears throat> See, I just had to tell him that it hurt my feelings. Sometimes that's all it takes. Just tell your opponents your feelings are hurt and then they will understand what they've done. No, I don't really care. I'm just teasing. Thanks for the game. And I feel today is the day to play against our dear friend, friend of the show, Mr. Dodgy, who is a very strong chess player. What do I do? E3? I'm very afraid of losing that pawn to Mr. Dodgy. So I better cover it. A-S-A-P. Rocky. ASAP Rocky. I never know what to do here. You know that about me, Mr. Dodgy. Here. Normally I play bishop d3, but I have a feeling I've done that last time around. And you don't want to repeat yourself, do you? Oh, Mr. Dodgy saw that coming. Blitzes out some stuff. I never know where to put that bishop either. I generally, I never know. That's, I think, all there is to it. B4 is all this normal. You go C5 now. Mr. Dodgy, big theoretician. Does this work or are you just winging it? Because I'm in it to wing it. I guess I'll take. Mm. Did I run into the dodgy lap? Or did the dodgy lap outsmart himself? Sometimes these things happen. Sometimes you blitz out a bunch of dodgy moves and then you start having a look around. And all your pieces are hanging and you have to go home and go back to the lap. We've all been there. Not really. Just castle before you go for all this. All this craziness. Hmm. At least it buys me some valuable coffee drinking time. Mr. Tochi is looking for a way to muddy the waters here. I don't see them. He's calculating like queen d7, bishop c6, rook c6, cd, rook c1, queen d7. Do oh, it's check. Stuff like that. And once again, no respect for the dear Grandmaster and his extra piece. Act like nothing happened. I understand though. Ah, he does resign. It's once again, claiming the hurt feelings does help a lot. Thanks for the game, Mr. Dodgy. I don't know if this stuff works. It doesn't look like it. it looks dodgy, doesn't it? At least castle. 
or play rook c8 here. I think Paco used to experiment with rook c8 and then some quick b4 c5. I don't know. Anyway, thanks for the game. Oh, this is another scary username. There's a dude with a frog as his profile pic. He's calling himself Schachgott, chess god. <sighs> scary. The other day, um, I went to a Chinese restaurant. Exciting story, I know. They had this all-you-can-eat buffet. It's good stuff because they give you all you can eat for however much it costs. 18 euros, I don't know. Um, because I'm so loaded, 18 euros, what, what do I know? And no, anyway, it felt like a good deal and they did have frosh legs. I was wondering, I don't think I ever ate frosh legs. Mm. That's the end of the story. I didn't eat them. But afterwards, I was upset at myself. Because how, when will I get the chance to eat frosh legs again? Probably I could like theoretically go back to the place tonight. It's close to my house. But I probably won't. Maybe I'll just miss out on all the frosh leggery. Queen e8, we've had this position plenty. I never know what to do here. Rook e1, I've played d5, I've played knight d5. Um, and Perpetual Stalemate is saying, let me guess, they taste like frog legs. I have no idea what frog legs taste like. Last time I played this pawn sacrifice here, e4, right? But this time around, I shall go here. I understand that surprise. The theory books recommend the move knight to e4 here, trying to capitalize that after knight takes e4, f takes e4, this pawn is under attack. But I vaguely recall... Mm, is, is it not called frosh legs? Frog legs? Um, in German it's froschenkel. I don't actually know the English term. Let me look it up. We haven't looked anything up yet today. Froschenkel English. Frog legs, yeah. I thought it should be frog legs. Mm -hmm. H6 plate. That gives me time to expand in the center, I guess. And I'm being told that frog legs are close to chicken. Sounds good to me. Then again, I'm also contemplating becoming a vegan after I watched this cowspiracy documentary. It made me believe that being a vegan is the right thing to do. I probably won't do it because I'm not a good person, but it did convince me that it's the right thing to do. All this water we're spending on producing a bit of meat. Madness. And all the territory, the space on this planet we're using to grow our cows. Anyway. Mm. Grow our cows, yeah. I can't even speak on the topic like with any authority. Bishop f5, can I do something? Rook f4, g5, knight g5, nah, too complicated. If I go rook e3, looks a bit weird, but I don't want to have to deal with bishop g4 and covering this, this knight all over again. Trockdor is saying, Jan, your track record of TV recommendations is almost perfect, except for the break. What's the break again? Is this Belgian series? Yeah, I thought it was all right, but yeah, not great. Um, but it's normal, Trockdor. One is supposed to be disappointed with the ending in these shows, right? Um, but then the last 10 minutes, Dries Killer was... That ending sucked. I can't even remember who the killer was. Like, it's... Nothing that stuck to in my long-term memory. I remember it was, yeah, okay watching, but not a must-watch, but decent binge fodder if you enjoy whatever the genre is called, murder mysteries. Anyway, sorry for that tangent. It's a show I watched on Netflix, and I guess I talked about it a while ago. Recently, nah, I've been busy. I haven't, well, I've been busy doing nothing, but I haven't watched that much, really. 
Um, have I? If I did, it didn't leave a lasting impression. Oh yeah, we tried watching this. Alias Grace, I guess I talked about. The, ugh, very serious stuff. One has to like focus and think. And, ugh. But it looked good. I, it felt like if I was paying attention, it was a good show. I didn't, so I can't say with certainty. But like the pictures looked, looked nice. As for this position, I guess I'm slightly better, but nothing um, crazy has happened yet. I always believe I'm slightly better in all these Dutch positions because long term, once the position opens up, the Black King should be weaker than the White King because the White King has three pawns to cover his butt, while the Black King only has these two. What are we talking about in the chat? Are still frog legs? Yeah. I've never had them. I think I should eat them one day. Just, you know, to check it on the bucket list. C5? Um, not really threatening anything. I guess it's time to open the position up a little bit. It's just like me on this show. You want to open up a little bit, but you don't want to give the whole darkness. You don't want to give away all the crazy during the banter, please. Just a little glimpse into my twisted, sad existence. Not that twisted. Um, can I go here? Knight d3 takes, swim bishop takes. Ugh, complicated. That looks like it works. Um, my point is knight d3 I can take. And after bishop takes, I can go bishop d5, which I could do now as well. And I guess I shall. Sounds like we've established that frog leg is close to chicken in taste, which makes it less exciting, but could be worse as well. <clears throat> knight b5 or knight takes, both look good for white. Even knight e6 looks decent. Or rook e5 if this were the show where we play interesting chess games. That takes, takes, bishop h3, that might be a bit much. Let's keep it, keep it dull. Keep Austin weird, but keep this game dull. Daniel Morrishell Figuana says, it's just a small step from eating frog legs to eating snails. That's disgusting. <laughs> Ooh, I've eaten plenty of snails. I like snails. Snails with a good garlic sauce. Mm, it's good stuff. Depends, but if you're in a nice restaurant and they know they're snails, like in Spain or in France, it's excellent. Um, anyway, I'm thinking about going vegan. So, <clears throat> all of this might be in the past, but yeah, snails is not new territory. Um, I keep thinking I should take something, knight d6, rook d6, queen e5, rook d5, but never wins on the spot which is upsetting. Maybe I'll just try to open the position without fireworks. Baby, there's no fireworks. I don't even know the lyrics. Jawbreaker would pass snails. I'm a, I'm a big snails fan. <clears throat> takes, takes, takes. Takes, takes, yeah. Mr. Dodge is asking, can vegans eat snails? I would guess not, no? I think snails qualify as animals and vegans, they're not really into eating animals, if I understood it correctly. Don't checkmate me, sir. Just to make that clear, if there's one thing I don't enjoy on this particular program, it is being checkmated. So now that we've established some ground rules, no checkmating. Hmm. No music after 10 p.m. No pets. I believe those are pretty much the rules. Hmm. What are we trying to do? Are you trying to flag me again? 
There's a lot of this. No. Schachgott does lose on time. Kalnering is saying Stay E. Martin was not too impressed by Snail in the Jerk. What's the Jerk again? Is that one of your old timey references, Kalnering? Is that like a 70s movie? I've heard of the Jerk. Is that. Ugh. Who's in the Jerk? It's not Steve Martin, is it? It's... Ah, it is Steve Martin. 1979. I was born in 1979. Carl, you need to update your references. Like all these millennials watching the show, they don't know what we're talking about. Hmm. Let's play against Latreya. Mikhailo Granik says, I've read somewhere that average person eat like 50 spiders in their lifetime while asleep. I thought three a year, but I thought it's also an urban legend. Um, probably the topic could be Googled, but I won't do it. It's not important enough to spend our precious bantering time on the question if we eat spiders in our sleep or not. I'd eat them. Nothing wrong with a little spider snack. Hmm. D4. What am I supposed to do after D4? I th recently saw someone play this. That's all I remember though. I believe as we speak we are uploading Mr. Schellingford's video series on the Karakan Black Repertoire. So maybe I can look it up in there. I don't really, I don't know stuff. Maybe I'm supposed to take and play E65. That looks a little slow. Hmm. <clears throat> Let's spice it up. I could just develop pieces Bishop E7, then take on C3, take on D3, and so on and so forth. But C5 feels, feels principled, does it not? <laughs> Oof, very forcing. Latreya forcing the action. I'm guessing knight h4 is the point. But it does look like white loses a bit of time with all these shenanigans. So I should just... Keep calm and develop pieces. How come they don't have any t-shirts? With that slogan. Sounds so logical. Keep calm, get some pieces out. What's his end game like? Equal? I'll throw in a little h6. He's gonna play h4. And then I will think, must think, rook d5 maybe. Hinting at some bishop d4 shenanigans. And after c4, I thought this is a nice landing spot for the rook. Do I have time for like king h7, king g6, king h5? That'd be nice. Might not have time for it. You know it is. A lot of nice things that we just can't find the time for. Nah, no B4, I'm not gonna be able to do it. Anyway, all right, give me. See, that's me weighing my choices. Bishop c3, rook a6, bishop e5, rook c6, f4, 
see what happens. That was the train of thought. And the train of thought will often take you there. The train of thought will take you there. After rook a6, I could also play this move, which is less Delta funky homo sapiens, but maybe easier. Defend the pawn. Make him go back. Or make him give up another pawn. Yeah, this is this is a typical banter blitz game. I'm taking a couple pawns, and then I'm gonna win on time, or barely win using my lousy endgame technique. This is pretty much the usual script, because this is a scripted show. Come on, you didn't think I was improvising all this. I was gonna say dialogue, but there's no one ever here to talk to me. So, the monologue. H5. I am a couple pawns up. Gave myself a little pep talk here. And I have a plan. So you're telling me there's a plan. My plan is not very sophisticated, but it's quite effective. I want to give a check on D1. Won't be easy to deal with that plan. What are we talking about? Um, spiders of requests for Radio Jan. Yeah, I'm not sure what he's up to. I have a feeling he's not a winter person. Maybe he's in hibernation. Is that a word? Mr. Dodge is asking Jan, what did you think of the new Chess 24 adverts? I haven't seen them. What are we advertising? Is the advertising ca campaign based on my face because we've decided, okay, we gotta do it. We know sex sells, so let's just put Jan's face on everything. It was coming sooner or later. Um, if one can checkmate by giving checks or by making quiet moves, give the checks because the quiet moves you might miss an opponent's check. Mr. Dodger is saying Peter losing to Trent was great. Ah, this is one. Peter Swindler's bad day at the office. Yeah, that one's funny. <laughs> that one I have seen. <clears throat> In case you're wondering who I'm idly speaking to while I stare into the darkness, it is the chat on the Chess24 side where I interact with all our dear friends. And who's this? Who's this gentleman who's higher rated than yours truly? Mr. Apni, 3010 and forever. Blitzes are 1d5. Can't be confused with anything. Never been afraid to say, what is this line? This is not supposed to be a great line. Is it Apni? <clears throat> Looks like Apni knows what he's doing. I don't know what he's doing. So only one of us knows what you're doing, Apni. All right, I took a pawn. He's going to develop pieces. So I guess everybody wins. Hmm. Can you play like that? I doubt it. Okay, brought some pieces back home, but I don't have a lot of weaknesses in my structure and I took a pawn. So how bad can it be? Should I make one active move at some point? Nah. I'm trying to calculate stuff. Oof. <laughs> With the usual result, not really able to do it. So I guess I'll just play something. Very hard to calculate stuff. I was trying to figure out some d5, knight e7, knight g5 or some nonsense, but 
Mm. With no conclusions. Queen d6, that looks awkward. <laughs> Not sure this was the smartest way to proceed. Wow, rook fd8 instantly. Interesting choice. I'm a little scary about, I'm a, li I'm a little scary. <laughs> I'm very scary, but I'm also scared of getting checkmated after some knight g4 jumps. But I thought g3, there's no checkmate impending. He's giving me more pawns. Shall I pass on this pawn? Goes against everything I stand for, of course. But I might have to pass on this one. With a heavy heart. Be assured, I did not enjoy not taking that pawn. Here comes the knight again. Big tactician. Okay, I should calculate a little bit. Otherwise, these things often go wrong against good opponents. If you're just winging it, things can end up out of control. Knight f2. Too strong for me. It's one of those too strong for me cases. I missed knight f2, of course, as I do. <laughs> yep, not much to do about it, I guess. C4, B, C. Nah, nothing works. Bishop F4, Knight D1. Ah, Bishop F4, Knight H3, sorry. Um, nope. No hope. And one of my specialties is recognizing there's no hope very quickly. And then just giving up. Not putting up any sort of fight. Knight d1, surprising move. Um, maybe still winning, but surprising to me. Okay, so far so good. Um, King g1, what do you do? Queen d4 check? I don't understand. Uh, rook d2, queen c3. It's all way too complicated, let's face it. Big champion of chess. What's the situation now? Material is equal. Looks equal, doesn't it? Can I win some pawns somehow? Probably not. I'm way behind on the clock. So I should probably try to steer this ship to my favorite haven, draw haven. Hmm, weird game against Abney. Yeah, didn't really understand anything about that game. But it was an interesting chess game. And that is what we're here for. Mm -hmm. The show where we play interesting chess games. Oh, wrong button. Let us play another interesting chess game against Empusa. Or EMP USA. What's EMP? Electromagnetic pulsation? I'm familiar with EMS, but not with EMP. 
Ähm, EMP. EMP Online Shop. EMP Merchandise. It's a band or a merchandise distributor. Seems like it's a company that specializes in merch. Gotta get that merch out there. Against Mposa, we're playing another one of these exciting Grandmasterly C4 Knight F3 G3. Um, see what happens. Mm, variations. C6 Knight C3. So I, when I was a young man, so much younger than today, I used to play Queen B6, B3, Queen A5 in this position. Um, I forgot what the point was. He goes Queen A5, which looks fairly sensible. What do I do? H3, I guess. So I can go. G4 after Queen H5, does that make sense? Looks logical, which is all we can really hope for. I'm always scared to lose some pawn to some ED94 Queen B4 business here, Queen C5. But it feels like the punishment should not be that harsh that he can just move his queen around and I'm in trouble. Or is it? Rookie one looks sensible, so I have some bishop f1 option if he starts harassing my c4 pawn. But does look like he's not in a hurry to go after Dr. C4. A6, what do you want? Do you want to play b5? I don't think you really want to go b5. Or do you? Maybe he does, but do I mind? All these choices. Maybe a3, or is that a bit overzealous. One of my two favorite words. The other one is bubblegum. Bubblegum and overzealous. A3 looked a little stupid. I'll, I'll admit that much. <clears throat> Note to self, don't blunder queen c5, queen takes d4, knight of three tricks. Next note to self, panic after queen c5. What do you do then? c4 is hanging, d4 is hanging. Everything is hanging. There uh, should be some smooth way out of it. But will I find it? It's unlikely, let's face it. So queen c5, let's say I go knight c2. Knight takes c4 b4. Then the queen can't keep contact with the knight on c4, right? Less complicated would be queen c5, knight b3. Probably better. Yeah, knight b3 does the job. He goes all the way back. Fair enough. But that don't scare me all that much. <laughs> so I'm scrolling through the chat. Back to the spider talk. This is a fun part of the show where I scroll through the chat. Not that all the other parts aren't great fun too, but this one, where my clock is running, I just stare into the great wide open. Mm. 
I was looking for something where I had a mesh. So back to back to the chess. Um, time to expand a little. It feels like the bishop did his job covering the c4 pawn. Can now go back to doing this job, covering the e4 pawn. Busy man, that bishop. Give me all that space. <clears throat> Before knight c4. Ugh. I'll pretend I'm I'm a big Karpovian prophylaxis player and get out the way. I'm not sure out of the way of what. Probably I run into d5. But I got out of the way of something. Now once again. I will show deep understanding of the game of chess by keeping some pieces on the board. And then I'll say, if you have a space advantage, keep many pieces on the board because your opponent will not have enough squares for all the pieces. I'm not sure if that's true, but I've heard people say some stuff like that. And it sounded logicalish to me. Logicalish. Now back to my own devices. Attack piece, hope opponent blunders piece. Then blunder pawn on c4. Hope opponent does not take pawn. Check, check. Mm, knight a4, attack piece again. Hope opponent blunders piece again. But he would sort of find knight c4 if I forced him to. So probably not the best idea. This is not a very good game of chess. I hate to admit it, but... You can all see it. Time to speed up. Playing terribly and slowly is not a good combination. We've talked about this. Grabbing pawns is always a good combination. We've talked about this too. Mm. Take all them pieces. Take them easy, baby. Take them as they come. I'm not sure those are the correct lyrics. Mm. But the advice is still valid. Give me all your pieces. Nah, I'm not a rook up. I was hoping this would be rook up book material. That's different. It's rook and exchange up. Not my forte. Thanks for the game, Empusa. That was a bad game by both of us. Mainly by me playing b4, which is madness. Knight takes c4. Not a, that hard move. To spot for either side, I would say. What time is it? I've been so sleepy today, but there's still time. Half an hour. So let's find another opponent that I have never played against. Who could that be? Hmm. It seems like I've never played against Whisper73. The place to be. He goes e4, I go c5. Mm. Mm. The good old, what's it called? Taimanov? People do this once in a while. That's pretty much all I know. Knight f knight f3. Ah, I was gonna say queen f3 is a trendy move here. Knight f3 I've never seen before, which does not mean all that much because I haven't seen much of the time off. 
Just, you know, in case he wants to blunder into some checkmate trick. I'm not sure which checkmate trick, but there might be one. A3, so avoiding any checkmate tricks, but it's paying a high price structurally to allow these double pawns and giving up. The two bishops, I wouldn't do that after knight g4. I believe if you go, let's say, bishop back to d2, then I was going to try some knight d4 nonsense, but g3, I couldn't really see a follow-up. So this now, okay, it avoided immediate disaster, but it's just very ugly structurally. Mm, King h1. Ooh, once again, the quest for active moves. Ugh, it feels like someone gave me a sleeping pill in the last five minutes. I'm literally falling asleep life on air, which would be a first. Like, not the complete disinterest in the game of chess. That's normal on this show. It's inspiring generations not to pick up the game because they see how self-loathing you become. Stick with it. Um, but the literally falling asleep, I believe, would be a first. B4. This is kind of. I could take, but probably not worth the drama because then might be five. Uh, who knows? So I'll get out the way. Ah, I should have gone here. Ugh, that would have been much better. So I have bishop b8 in reserve. What can you do? Slumber Blitz. That'd be a good title. You know what? I'm so upset I didn't do it earlier. But I'll still do it. I really want to go here. Could be that they tricked me with the coffee and they put decaf in here. Mm. Just in time to avoid the checkmate. Which is why I shouldn't have wasted that tempo. But of course my position is still quite nice. It's a nice... Mm. Of course not thinking twice about grabbing the pawn at the high price of giving up the two bishops and all that. That this, seriously speaking, should be more or less a winning position because, um, first of all, because I can take more pawns. And secondly, because with opposite color bishops, the side with the initiative, blah, blah, blah. And since this king is weak, I would have grabbed the initiative or pawns. Or both. A4 is a decent attempt to mix it. I guess I'll take it. Run! Sorry for yelling, I forgot. You were asking me to whisper. Smell rook up material. Give me the rook. Give me the rook. Give me a rook. Not this rook. No. Whisper73 resigns. Thank you for the game, Mr. Whisper. Mr. Whisper, would you please be my maya? Mm. Mm. 
What are we talking about? Bolo Canolo is saying, Jan, we have a holiday here in the USA on Thursday. You may have heard of, it, heard of it. BB on that day is not a good idea for USA members. May want to reconsider the date. First of all, I'm familiar with Thanksgiving, but I'm still confused by the notion. I should not do a Banta Blitz because it's a holiday in the US. Doesn't that mean that you're not at work and you have all the time in the world to banter blitz? Also, it's at 4 p.m., which last time I checked is like 8 a.m. or whatever, depending on your time zone in the US. So you probably won't be eating your turkey at that time, right? And then, in case you're missing the show, I would, of course, be heartbroken. But there's normally like a bunch of hundred people watching this and then thousands. I'm trying to sound like a big deal. It's probably the least watched videos in all of YouTube. But what I'm trying to say is that most people watch the show remotely. So it's not that important. Um, but thanks for pointing it out. And what do you say? Do you say happy Thanksgiving, happy holidays? I don't know what to say. But I will play against now or never. Number one. Because who knows? He might be busy cooking on Thursday. So this might be our only chance. Play a lovely game of chess. Um, C4, B6. That is a legal move. No more, no less. It's legal. E6. Yeah, the tough guys play E4. The, the old guys play A3. Stopping bishop B4. Now the tough guys play f5, then the tough guys play d5, but the old guys have their own little system. You know how it is. Bolo Canolo is saying dinner with family once again at 8 a.m.? Hard to believe. What are we thinking about now or never one? Did a3 th catch you off guard? I don't think so. That's one of the main moves. Oh, he's going for, what do you call this? The hippopotamus? Hippopotamus? Versus the rhinoceros? <sighs> well, you can of course do that. Play d6, bishop e7, knight d7, a6, h6, and take it from there. But I don't mind doing nothing for many moves either. So I don't think it's that scary a system. He decided however to play differently. Play with castles and now he's initiating contact by playing c5. Black is not well prepared for opening the position with cd though because here d6 would very quickly become a target. I just go queen d2, rook fd1 and remove my knight. It would be pain to keep this pawn on d6 alive. So not gonna be able to do it. Mr. Dodgy is saying, I'm planning my nap for 4 p.m. on Thursday. Maybe you should reconsider the banter blitz. That, I find it offensive, Mr. Dodgy, that you would nap during Thanksgiving. Does that make any sense? Not really. Well, nah, I take it back. I couldn't pull it off. But yeah, that is a good reason. How about I will do the banter blitz on Thursday, but it won't be the last banter blitz I ever do. And we'll do another one when it's not Thanksgiving. I believe that's a compromise we can all live with. Because I learned the nature of a compromise is that everybody's unhappy. And I'm certainly unhappy, as you probably figured out by watching this show. And those of you who missed the Bent Blitz on Thanksgiving should also be unhappy. Therefore, compromise, baby. See, I got, I got this life stuff all worked out. Hmm. All right, how do I win now? D5 looks good. Um, yeah, end of end of thought. D5 looks good. And I keep seeing a lot of questions by non-premium members on how to improve at chess. Of course, the only answer I will give you, and I'm serious about this, is become a premium member. It costs 10 euros a month, and you can watch a lot of great video series. I keep mentioning the same one because it's still my favorite. The prophylactic thinking with Artyusupov, I learned a lot from, and I believe everybody on any level 
can learn a lot from that. So I would do that. Bolo Canola is saying, it takes time to prepare dinner for an entire family and guest. Are we still discussing if we're doing the show on Thursday, Bolo? But on other days, you'd be working, so you wouldn't be have a chance to watch either, right? I think there is no good banter blitz time. I think we can conclude that. It's so hard to please everybody. Mm. I'm pleased that I have the horsey here. Um, here? Let's go here first. Then let's bring the other horse. This one, this one I call Caesar, but this one is a horse with no name. In the desert, you can't remember your name. See, even though it's an unsung hero, it does a good job of trapping the queen. It's the horse tag team, covering all the scar scary, scary, scary squares. Hmm. Ah, Bolo Canolo, now I'm getting, I'm getting it. You're retired, so you can follow Banter Blitz on most days, but not on Thanksgiving, because you have all these pesky family members over, and you gotta prepare dinner for them. I am starting to understand. Hmm. And Perpetual Stalemate is saying, as a GM, I would expect you to use the correct term for the horses, Ponies. These these horses are not ponies. They're full-grown horses. Look at the guys. They're like attack horses. War horses. This is not like some sea biscuit nonsense. Those are serious horses. Um, anyway, thanks for the game. Now or never. Number one. Is the game over, by the way? I think it's over. All right, let's play Dr. Dino again. We tried earlier in the show, but Dr. Dino was not around. Let's see if he's here. Perpetual Stalemate is saying, guys, before having kids, consider come back home for holidays and make you miss Jan's shows. That is an excellent point. I got a kid that makes the US guys miss a lot of shows that earlier as a degenerate bachelor I was doing in the middle of the night. Now, family man doing less shows in the middle of the night. And Dino66, uh, now I'm taking offense if you're making me wait twice per show after you didn't manage to accept the first challenge. I'm kind as I am and give you another chance and you once again are not with us. That's that's disappointing, Dino. Sad. Mm. Mm. All right, let's find another fresh big team. Don't you love? The smell of fresh victim blood in the morning. Does that sound creepy? Nah. Chest to matters. Oh, 2644. I must try to wake up, which will be almost impossible in my current delirious state. What do I do? I normally go knight c3, but he played e6 with such conviction that I felt he wants to pin my horse. And I can't handle all these pins at this hour. He wants to attack the pawn. When I was a young man, so much younger than today, I did a lot of work on the move queen to a4. Then I somehow, we lost touch queen a4 and me. But I had mixed results with it. I lost in this line as white to Peter Leko in Dortmund 2008, when I was leading the tournament. So that was not great. Later I won some games though. I think I beat Biljewski in one of those. So yeah, it's been 
it's been mixed with um, my my queen a4 relationship. In the last couple of years I haven't really played the Queen's Indian much with white. But yeah, what was the line they were all doing? They were doing some funky stuff. Knight c6, rook ft1, yeah, where, oh, first queen b6, knight c6, and then some... I can't remember a thing. Hmm. a6. Um, hang on. I can't remember anything here either. I'm just weighing my plans. Rook d2, rook d1 is a typical plan here. Rook b1 to prepare some b4 business also makes sense, but normally only after black went d6. So I'll go with this one. Mm. Now this horse with no name song is stuck in my head. I'd like to play it, but probably then YouTube or whoever will say, do you have the rights for this particular song you played in your little Bantablis program? I don't think you have. So I can't put on Horse With No Name. It's a great song. I love that song. And I don't love anything on this world. As you guys know, that's not true. But it's a nice song. Now maybe Rook B1 makes some more sense. I'm not sure. Rook D1, of course, made even more sense. I'm not sure why I didn't go Rook D1. Because I'm twisted. Yeah. There is no rational explanation for not playing Rook D1. I'm reading the chat is lacking now. I don't trust this LTE connection I'm using all that much. So, what's going on? It seems like Chess Matters also disappeared. Wow, he went A5. Really scared him out of... Um, I don't know what I scared him out of. But now that I can no longer go for b4, I can go rook d1 with a very clear conscience and say, but I provoked, I provoked a5, weakening b5 square. It was all part of the plan. It's all part of my master plan. Hmm. Do you guys remember? I'm gonna say remember because I'm assuming that everybody here is watching Bojack Horseman every day. Because if not, what are you doing with your life? So do you guys remember the episode where, I, I forgot which episode it was, but where they play the horse with no name song in Bojack Horseman. It's very touching. Can I go Queen B5? I don't see how to proceed after Queen C7. But it feels like something good should happen to me. I can't see it though. I'll still do it, but I can't see it. There must have been some way to break through here already. But I did not see. And if at first you do not see, dust yourself off and try again. Try again. Hmm. I'm still trying to make some tactic work, but I'm not sure I ever will. I could grab this pawn maybe, but does that work? E5, Ugh, it's so complicated. Don't you guys hate how complicated chess is? Hmm. Yeah, I've misplayed this position, as I do. E5. Do I go bishop e3 or bishop g5? I'm guessing knight d4 is gonna happen against both. I don't know. Slightly worried about blundering my queen here after some takes and a4. But. Such is life. Hmm, all right, do I have to take this guy or can I get out the way? I'll get out the way. Long term, I'm still in good shape, even though, yeah, as I mentioned, short term, I might have been in a world of hurt there because, yeah, blah, blah. <laughs> 
tactical tactical issues so now let's switch back to long-term boring stuff squares and all that give me those squares my dear boy in the desert you can't remember your name <laughs> Those are the only lyrics I can remember to the horse with no name. But it's pretty good lyrics. Looks like we're speeding up. Good old speed it up. Mm. Alrighty, let's speed it up. Mm. Why didn't I play G4? I wanted to play G4, but then I somehow didn't. So instead prepare for long pointless agonizing moving around to come h5 so aggressive <clears throat> what's going on there <clears throat> i can't decide if i want to embrace this mission or not? I think I don't. <clears throat> All right, you've worn me down. I will give my beloved bishop for a mere horse. Horse with no name. In case you were wondering, I have no clue what I'm doing, but I'm hoping to make something happen, the usual. Let's make something happen. <laughs> no checkmate? There should be a checkmate somewhere, no? I feel like I deserve some sort of checkmate, but I can't see it. It's very upsetting. If there's no checkmate, even though you feel like you deserve a little checkmate, because all we need is checkmate and understanding. We need some more understanding. We need a little more mate. Chess Matters resigns. It's early to resign, I would say. He's in some trouble, but you can fight on with like Rook F2. And I would maybe have to do the unthinkable and calculate if I can somehow go for mate. I wasn't positive about it. Um, anyway, thanks for the game. Very tough fight against Chess Matters. We have time to play one more, during which I might fall asleep. Oh, I'm being told there's not a lot of storage space left on this computer. Do we have to do the unthinkable and delete some old local recordings of Bantablitz? Nah. Those are invaluable assets. Alright, last gamer, last gamer. Once again, looking for fresh victims. Can't find any fresh victim. Then let's find an fresh victim. <clears throat> we are playing against perpetual stalemate. Knight of six. C3, very safe. Who I know all this business. All the London systems are not foreign to me. I'm having a deja vu. Did we play this exact line against each other, Perpetual Stalemate? Did we play recently? Did I berate you for playing b3 or for playing knight f3, not knight d2, when you could meet queen b6 with queen c2? I don't have the bishop f5 trick. 
I might have done all this. That is the problem with banter blitz. It's very repetitive. Especially if you're a one-trick pony like me. And always play the same. That's probably not true. I sometimes vary just a little bit. But I'm not sure if we always manage to play interesting chess games, which is the goal of this show. Mm -hmm. Oh, I really feel like putting my, my feet on that table. I can't do that. Does it look unprofessional? Because this is the show where we behave professionally until we get tired, which is like eight minutes in. Queen e1 is too subtle. You're trying to unpin, preparing knight e5. That's an odd square for a queen. Mm. Oh, and Perpetual Stalemate is trying to help me to keep my 3000 rating. Thanks, Perpetual Stalemate. I had, wasn't aware you were tanking this game. It, it is much appreciated. Especially this knight e5 business. I am now very confident about um, keeping my 3000 rating, which is really what keeps me going. It's the ratings. Um, mm -mm. Am I a rook up? I'm not sure if you know this about me, Perpetual Same. But rook up? I don't stop. I blunder knight d7, so I might no longer be a rook up. But that's gonna be another chapter in the book. If you're a rook up and blunder in exchange, you're still a piece up. Not so bad. Mm. <laughs> I've blundered many knight d7s in my life, or knight d2s, attacking a queen on b6 and a rook on f8. It always comes as a surprise, every time. Boom! Not again! Darn you, knight to d7. I'm trying to drum up some counterplay on this second rank, but I must be careful not to magically remove that knight because then, boom, queen h7 checkmate. Check. No checkmate yet? All right. Very disappointing that you're not allowing me to checkmate you. Perpetual stalemate. I don't even need a perpetual stalemate. I just need a one-time checkmate thing. One time, two time. That's another album I've been hearing, which I had not listened to for a long time. It's good stuff. I think we talked about it the other day. I've been obsessed with it for a while. The Fuji's the score. It's excellent. I listened to it a lot when I was a kid in the 90s, but I haven't for like 20 years. And now I'm obsessed with it again. That's the good thing in life. Nothing's ever new. Well, sometimes there's new stuff. But generally, you can always return to your old favorites because you forgot about them by then. And Perpetual Stalemate is saying if I insist, he would allow me to checkmate him. So that does sound fair. See, I'm almost allowing you to checkmate me as well, like Bishop e5. And it's a race to the checkmate. Um, and Chapa Capacha raises a valid point. How can Perpetual Stalemate play and chat at the same time with the delay? Are you a magician, Mr. Perpetual Stalemate? Is the movie The Prestige based on your life? If so, which one are you? Are you the Christian Bale character or the Hugh Jackman character? 
We need answers to those questions. Thank you for the game and thank you everybody for watching this show. I will now go straight into hibernation. Um, ugh, very tired all of a sudden, but I do appreciate um, yeah, you know, hanging out, you guys stopping by, premium members keeping this, paying for the very expensive green screen so we can make it look white again. It's magic. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon. Voucher code Yanistan, 15% off and crush me next Bentablitz show on Thanksgiving Thursday because I will probably be as sleepy as I am now. Until next time, enjoy your holidays or your work days. Bye.